At Menominee Falls North Middle School, Kaylin Pieper blends with her classmates, going to math and English, experiencing her first school dance, navigating the difficult transition from childhood to adolescence. But Kaylin has a story unlike most 11-year-olds. What they do with their hands, she does with her feet. Kaylin's condition is arthrogryposis. Um, basically what that means is a lot of her, all of her joints didn't really form when she was being born, so she's very limited to, to as far as you know what she can do with her, you know, her legs and her, her arms as far as motion. Um, it makes it very difficult to for her to you know move her hands. She's great. Every time she doesn't think she can do it, we say, "No, you can." Kaylin is a determined little girl. And from an early age, she taught herself to rely on her feet for a long list of tasks. She writes, lifts things, operates the television remote, plays video games, and dials her cell phone, all with her feet. <laughs> to most people, these would seem like insurmountable challenges, but to Kaylin, they're just a way of life. She even wraps presents using her toes to cut pieces of scotch tape. Kaylin acts like any other 11-year-old, participating in school activities. When the other children play crab soccer with an oversized ball, she competes like anyone else. In the more relaxed atmosphere of home, Kaylin can use her feet and mouth to eat, but at school it would be awkward and difficult. Instead, she brings her face down to her plate to eat. It can get messy and it can make a child feel different at a time when fitting in is so important. That's why her father and stepmother hoped a group of engineers at Marquette could invent a device to help Kaylin eat. Six students from Marquette actually picked up this project to do for Kaylin to make a, a feeding device. Um, they came out and met with us and kind of asked Kaylin what she wanted and what she wanted it to look like and they went back and designed it and came back and you know let us see it and it kind of evolved into something really 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 cool. The engineers from Marquette worked for more than eight months on the project. They got help from a pair of designers at the Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design. Each year students from the two schools have the chance to collaborate on projects. Engineers bring an expertise in function and mechanics. The designers bring a feel for the beauty and psychology in the engineering process of theirs, they've gotten it to the best solution that they can find. So then we come in and yeah. we start from what we would say is scratch. Yeah. But I mean, they've done a lot of work. So we start from our point of scratch and then we take it to the best possible solution, yeah. solution that we can find. The students worked long hours fueled by energy drinks, caffeine, and pizza to produce a new device called Nourish which Kaylin nicknamed Justin Bieber. By using a remote, Kaylin can control Nourish to scoop food. The engineering students gave a presentation of their work in early May with Kaylin and her family in attendance. You know, everything that the Marquette students and the Myad students did and put together just turned out amazing and we were just yeah. so surprised and so happy. and. They are just a bunch of wonderful people, all eight of them. I mean, they actually have bigger hearts than we could ever imagine. And they, they actually, it felt like they cared and, you know, and that meant a lot to us. And they said that this was like the most meaningful um, project they have ever done. So that was really touching to us and mm -hmm. to Kaylin. So. It's a good group of kids. We're fine. Jeff, this is from Kaylin. But this was more than just a project. Over time, Kaylin and her family grew close to the students. Kaylin told them about school and her fondness for Justin Bieber. The engineers texted her with questions. When the project was over, they exchanged gifts. They expressed a hope that the connection they formed will endure as the engineers enter the professional world and as Kaylin progresses through school. Kaylin thanked them for improving her life one spoonful at a time.